It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the Brew Review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. All right, what's going on, guys and gals? And we are back for another fine edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you, for you oh, here tonight? It's cold out here, dog. What uh, what do you got to warm us up? Well, it looks like tonight we have Sycamore, and they have a Sycamore. yeah, they have a blend called Barrel Age Christmas Cookie Winter oh. Ale, one pint can, and it's at eight point one by volume. Oh, so, oh my goodness. Stronger than hell, and you know my theory on Christmas beers. They make it stronger so you can put up with the in-laws a lot easier. Amen. Fortunately, I think we, both of our in-laws are okay. Yeah, but um, I can't say the I can't say like about other people. But right, 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 right. Yeah. So all the information's here on the can. So basically, it's family owned since since uh, 2013. 2013. So, so they're young. Yep, yeah, they're kind of young. It says Santa is that bourbon in your breath. Santa, is that bourbon in your beer? Yeah, so brewed in canned in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ooh. So we got a North Carolina beer. Yep, so they're young and uh, they'll be 10 years old next year. So Sycamore Brewing You company. know what? The show's been around longer than them. <laughs> That's true. Uh, if you're interested, uh, sycamorebrew.com is their web. Uh, yeah, so kind of a story behind this beer. Please So tell. Yeah, so a co-worker of mine who just started with our company... I worked down in Hagerstown, of course, but he we, we get to talking about beers and stuff while we're riding around in the van. Of course, we're not drinking it, or we get fired. Yeah. But anyhow, yeah, we talk about beers and stuff, and he's like, I, got, I want you to try this, this, this Christmas cookie beer. So he has a buddy down in South Carolina that found it and sent it up to him in Maryland, and then it got sent to me in PA, and here we are. Okay. So it kind of hopped from North Carolina, where it was brewed, to South Carolina, where they bought it, to Maryland... Where I got it, and up here to PA to where it's gonna gonna now get consumed. Uh, I'm sorry, but um, so I don't think you can find it here. Two things are just making me absolutely laugh. Number one, those are strap-ons. I don't care what the hell. Oh you're shit! <laughs> I don't. Those are fucking pussies. I don't care what you say. That is a strap-on. Those are pocket pussies. Let's take a close look again. Jesus Christ, Dustin. Jesus Christ, boy. You know, if that was like eight pocket pussies, would that be an octopus? We, we may have to censor this one. <laughs> no, we're not, because we're not running ads. Let, let it as is. But then the second thing that made me laugh... So, shout out to Dustin. He is single, ladies, so if you... Ladies, there you go. Here you go. He's got all the toys ready for you. Yeah, if you go on a date with him, you're guaranteed to get the D. And you're guaranteed to have some fun. Jesus fucking Christ, I didn't even notice that until we were recording. But then the second thing was, of course, the description. It goes, and I'm quoting this, Well, jingle my bells and stuff my stocking. A special edition of Christmas Cookie Winter Ale. Hold on to your sugar plums. This barrel-aged goodness is heading down the chimney. Well, if you're wearing those strap-ons, it's going... Up the chimney. Oh, look what the bottom says. Canned in eleven nineteen of twenty one, which is very young. Probably not the toys you expected. That's what a fucking. Those are sex toys. <laughs> Those are sex toys. God damn it, Dustin! What the hell are you it's doing? It's not tonight? just him. It's Sycamore Brewing Company. You sick bastards! I don't judge, but come on, man. I don't need this shit on my beer. All right, enough of this bullshit. Let. Let's just get over the packaging. All right, go uh, ahead and pop the pocket pussy. It definitely gets points for the packaging. Definitely. I already give this beer a three. Because that packaging is amazing. So, no matter what, it gets a three regardless. It does have a little bit of a cookie smell to it. And I did forget to explain that we are going to also be doing uh, the drink test and draft test and all that good stuff. Yeah, it has a faint... Some kind of smell to it. 
But, Fuck. So, so if we're going to use this, we're going to do it right. So I'm going to put this here. We paid $2.50 for this fucking thing out of a dumpster. So we're going to use it, damn it. What are you pouring it for? Wait, now don't pour it yet. You got to drink it first. Oh. <laughs> I'm My mind is fucked up he right now. He is confused because of the strap-ons. Okay, strap-ons and pocket pussies. Let's try it. Also known as Christmas cookie... Whatever. Okay, flare burst. Flare burst. Shove that right in there. That looks orange. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it tastes damn near like taking a shot. Really? Yeah, it tastes very strong. 8.1% alcohol by volume, so... yeah. You could almost compare this to Mad Elf. Oh, no, really? It's almost one of those. Oh, man. I don't know how much I like this. You're not going to sit down and drink a whole sixer of them. I'm yeah. telling you that. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Good you, choice, my friend. You definitely get an alcohol taste. You're not going to pound six of these back to back, but the taste—I get like a taste of vanilla, like a taste of like, <clears throat> like a taste of a cookie, like a like a a sugar cookie. I didn't I didn't taste the cookie taste. I I tasted a fucking shot. Really. See, I taste I taste like a sweeter taste to it, like a, like a cookie. I don't know. Maybe we need to glass it up here and see. Yeah, what... I mean, our palates must be different, but so now he kind of jumped the gun there. He's gonna pour it in the glass, but we don't, we don't do that shit. We drink I'm, it out. I'm so. I'm, it's I'm all so, good. I'm so fucking taken by it's, the package. It's all good. Okay, the the, the dildos, the, the strap on pocket pussies, they got you a little distracted. I understand. It happens. Ooh, that's a dark beer. That is a dark, diuretic beer. And not only is it 8.1% content, but you get the 16 ounces. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Whoa. That it is almost looks like... Diuretic sewage water. Looks kind of like apple cider. It does, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like dark apple cider. If you hold it up to the light... It actually looks darker in the middle. Like, it lightens up as it gets further if away. I can get... Oh, man. I'm not good at, like, working the camera. <laughs> yeah, you can... Yeah, I get... It. Yeah, the camera's getting it. All right, let's get back yeah, down here. Yeah, it's so weird let's get how... Let's frame. Like, the further it gets into the middle, the darker it gets. All right, here you go. Uh, I'll drink it for... No problem. I'll do it. Swirl this up a little bit. Try and mix all that stuff together. Definitely. Okay. I was wondering what that smell was. My ass. No, it's not your ass. I've smelled that before. <laughs> not purposely. It almost smells like fucking tequila. Must be the alcohol. Yeah, but I the alcohol definitely shows its strength in this one. Mm. I think our boy Dustin, I think he's a, a hardcore beer drinker. Mm. Yeah, it's strong, but I'm not having a difficult time drinking it. Like I would with other hard liquor beers. This is one that you either start, this is one that you start on, maybe have two at the most, and then go to Switch. something else. Don't go to this when you're already plastered, because you're not, you're not going to have a good time. Mm. But it goes down smooth. That's what I kind of like about it. You still taste it, but you're not sipping at it because it's so strong. It actually goes down rather smooth, at least for me. Not bad. No, it's not bad at all. I still kind of get like a sweeter taste to it, but that, again, could just be me. It's not It's not bad. I've, I enjoy it. Um, would I go out and buy it? No. That's debatable. I am so taken by the packaging, though. <laughs> How the fuck did I not know that until we got the camera on here? I'm sure it's not what it looks like, but no, it is. 
So, ratings. Packaging definitely puts it on the board. I Big said, time. I said this, get, this is getting a three no matter what. Uh, but you know what? I actually enjoyed this. I wouldn't go out and buy it myself. It's one of those, as we always say, hey, I got this cool beer. Do you want to try it? Or, hey, I didn't like this. Do you want it? I'll drink it. So, I'm going to go four. Four out of five. I, I enjoyed it. Because, again, packaging. Packaging is key. Yeah, there's a lot of packages on here, all right. No doubt about it. Yeah, so that's kind of where I was going with it, you know. Packaging, especially if you look real close at it, holy shit. <laughs> Just the packaging <laughs> alone, I'll give it a three and a half. The beer's strong as fuck. I didn't taste any sugar cookie. I'm kind of disappointed uh, there, but... Yeah, yeah. I, I taste the sweet. It, I'm going to say also a solid four. Four. Definitely a worthy beer. Now, get in that middle of there for that circle jerk, because that's going to be some fun times. Yeah, that's some times that I'm not going to be involved in. <laughs> Okay, fine. Go in the middle of those. Now you're talking. I don't know. I don't even know how you do that. You have to go back. Well, how do you even do like the 20 guys with one girl? I don't even know. Not like I watch one cup. Not like I watch this kind of shit. We're so, just going to leave it at that. We're just going to leave it at that. But Sycamore, our first beer by you guys, good on you. I love the packaging. Even though I know it's probably not what it's supposed to be, but it is. All right. We hope we enjoy. I we hope you guys enjoyed. This. We, <coughs> I'm we, coughing here. Sorry. We certainly enjoyed it. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed this review on Sycamore Dildos and Pocket Pussies. Yeah. We're not even calling it Barrel Aged Christmas Cookie anymore. It's now Dildos and Pocket Pussies. We'll see you next week. <laughs>